Hey there, YouTube, welcome back. Rudiments, we're talking rudiments, we're continuing our rudiment series. Um, if you click the link above, I think it's here, um, you will get the first video of the Flam family. So last, last lesson, we talked about the Flam rudiments. Um, and if, you've, if this is your first video, you're just stumbling upon me and, and the drum shed, hi, my name's Nick. Nice to meet you. And uh, I am, I kind of teach drums here on YouTube and Rumble or wherever you're watching from. And uh, you know, you can click this link if you're interested in the entire Rudiment series. Um, we've covered all sorts of single stroke and double stroke and the different roles and cool stuff of the paradiddle, the diddle family, all that stuff. We just started getting into some flams. So let's get into it. Um, I'm not gonna go over what the flam is. Watch the previous video for the description of how to play a flam. Um, we're gonna dive right into the flam accent. So this is a three note phrase. And uh, the Percussive Arts Society, which is the, the notation that we're using, we're using their notation. It's a great foundational way of learning your rudiments and, and learning, you know, strengthening your inner clock, learning a little bit how to read some musical notation, uh, getting, getting interesting creative uh, phrasing ideas, getting your hand technique together. That's why we're using the, the PAS uh, terminology and notation. I just think it's a great foundation. Okay, so they list the, percuss uh, they list the flam accent as a eighth note flam followed by two more eighth notes. Um, you can make it, you could do all sorts of cool stuff. You could change subdivisions. You could make it an eighth note triplet phrase. That's cool. But today, I, what I think is cool, when I started playing it just as the way they wrote it, um, and if you click the link below, I should have mentioned this, if you click the link below, you'll get a free PDF so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You can see the Percussive Arts Society notation. I've got that for you. Just click the link below. Um, so when I started playing it exactly how they have it written, I've got it over here. You can't see it, but whatever. Uh, you will see it when you click that link. Um, they have it written it not as an eight, uh, eighth note triplet. They have it written just as eighth notes. So uh, what's really cool about that is because it's a three note phrase, if you're playing in four four, the phrase goes over the bar. And that's really helpful for, for developing your inner clock, your sense of time, um, and, and your, your idea of like, playing accents or playing phrases that don't always just resolve within one beat or within one measure. That's a really cool thing. So I encourage you to, to practice it the way we're gonna do it today. Um, okay, so the flam accent. You're gonna go, I'm gonna start with a right-handed flam, meaning to me that means my right hand is the loud note. So it's gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. I just played two flam accents. Let me break that up because I said it's a three note phrase. Uh, so right-handed flam, left-handed single, right-handed single. That's the flam accent. Then you switch to the other side. Left-handed flam, right-handed single, left-handed single. Um, in all together, flam, left, right, flam, right, left. One and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Um, that was my idea, like, like, like that's why I wanted to play it with the, uh, you know, as just regular old eighth notes, because you could see as you count eighth notes, the, the flam, it doesn't just go, you know, one and two, the next flam, like the very next flam we play is on the, and, starts on the and of two, really cool. So um, I've got my metronome set to 80, it's just nice and slow to hopefully make it easier for you guys to, to learn and, and figure out what it is I'm doing here. So let's give it a try, three and four.
Hopefully that was helpful. Let's do it, uh, let's go a little faster. We'll go to 80. So the first time on 60, I went around a, a couple more times. This one, I just went through it one time until it came back around on one. Um, hopefully that made sense to you. That is the flam accent. So I forgot to mention before I started demonstrating, when you see the notation, click that link below, uh, you will uh, notice that the, the flam is the accented part. And hopefully you could gather that from my demonstration just now. The flam is the accented part and the single strokes, the two single strokes in, in the phrase, are unaccented notes. Um, and so, you know, I encourage you to, to try and play those as soft as possible. That can create some awesome dynamic ranges. All right, there we have it. That is flam rudiment number two, the flam accent. It's a great pattern. And, uh, you know, as always, you can change the subdivision eventually. You can create hybrid rudiments. But remember, that's, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is to give you the bare, bare bones, basic, solid foundation. And I promise you, if you master it, it'll open up so many doors for you. Thank you for being here uh, today for the Flam Accent on the Drum Shed. It is my honor and privilege that you're here and that, and that you're trusting me with your drumming education, even just a little bit. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I'd be so grateful if you do all the youtube -y things. So like, like, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, share it, all that stuff. That just helps the channel grow and you know, I'd be so grateful for your support there. Um, and that's it. Next video will be the flam tap. It's it, one of my favorites is the flam tap. So I'm excited to show you this one. Um, so stay tuned and I hope you have a very blessed day.